everyone to another episode of Gaikoku Gamers Bite Size. This is Mike with a little bit of uh, quick news to talk about today. Uh, Sony Online Entertainment is the big word on the street, and they've been sold by Sony. Sony has sold them to an investors group, and they've renamed it, it under the name Daybreak Games Studio, I believe. And so, what pretty much what this means is any games that fall under that moniker uh, EverQuest, EverQuest 2, uh, DC Online. Uh, EverQuest Next and Landmark, as well as the recently released H1Z1, will all be able to come to any platform they choose. Now, I don't see EverQuest or EverQuest 2 ever becoming to any other platform except for uh, PC, uh, but that means games like DC Online, H1Z1, and uh, EverQuest Next, as well as Planetside 2, which were all on Sony or going to Sony. PlayStation 4 are now able to come to Microsoft's Xbox One. Will they? Who knows? I do know that the uh, the creator behind uh, H1Z1 said he cannot wait to be making Xbox games, so more than likely H1Z1 will see a port for Microsoft. I, I'm i not going to guarantee it because it's hard to say, but more than likely we'll see that one make its way to the Microsoft console. This is huge crazy news. Well, it's not big, big news, but it is uh, the news on looking on the Times of Sony, which which is getting rid of their uh, Music Unlimited service, they're uh, restructuring their, their video services, they're uh, now getting rid and sold their Sony Online Entertainment. And it's crazy when they just released the Planet Side 2 beta. Each one Z1 just got released. And that was a big, big deal on, on the PlayStation 4. You're only going to be able to play that on the PlayStation 4. Of course, it's on PC, but if you're a console gamer and don't game on the PC, your only way of playing that was on a Sony PlayStation 4 and not on the Microsoft Xbox console. That may change. Who knows? Another thing in the news was Netflix coming out and saying that uh, sometime this year you'll see a new version of the Xbox One and PS4 which, which will have 4K built in. I don't know about what Netflix is getting their information, but it was already released back when they were talking about the PS4 and Xbox One that they're able to play 4K movies and photos. They're able to support that resolution, just not for gaming. I don't see a new version coming out that's going to support both video and gaming. I mean, if they start to support 4K gaming in a new iteration of the actual console, then that's what developers going to do. Do we make the game? 4K compatible, or do we just stick to the, to the 1080p? I know both systems are pretty powerful in amongst themselves, but they're also having problems getting 1080p 60 frames a second. Hell, even 1080p 30 frames a second. So how would they be able to crank out 4K games without making a whole new console? And, that, and that's what Netflix is saying. There's going, there's going to be a new PlayStation 4 and Xbox One coming out sometime this year that will support 4K movies and gaming. And, frankly, if you want 4K gaming played on PC, it's going to cost you a little bit. But, also, I've got a 4K game machine now. I still only have, you know, a widescreen 1080p TV. I mean, if for me to, you know, to experience the 4K gaming, I would have to go buy a new television. Not going to happen. I'm not sold on 4K TVs. There's not enough... Not enough sources that play in 4K that's going to spruce my interest in getting a 4K TV. People say, oh, but it's so much better. The picture is so amazing. Right. When you're watching 4K photos or a 4K movie. The only place right now that I know of is doing 4K streaming coming up is Netflix. And like I said before, uh, Yoshida's even said, when talking about the PlayStation 4 before it got released, it says it will be able to play 4K video and photos. And I believe they said the same thing about the Microsoft Xbox One, that it's going to be able to play 4K video and uh, photos, but not gaming. So, Netflix, I pose this question to you. Where would you be getting this information from that Sony and Microsoft are working on a brand new version of a system that just got released no longer than just barely a year ago? And they're already going to be putting a new system of this year? No, I, I can't see that. I... I just don't see it. I see an update coming down that unlocks the ability for 4K video. 
but I don't see a new system coming out because that will put a lot of strain on developers that are just trying to get 1080p 60 frames, 1080p 30 frames a second, and now they're like, oh, now now they have a new box out with 4K. <laughs> you know, that's 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 not a good business strategy. I don't think, anyways. So, if you want my two bits of that, I don't think it's going to happen. I, I, I think Netflix is talking over their ass in this one. They're talking way out in left field. That there's, you'll see a new hardware version out there sometime this year of these two systems. No, I don't think it is. But I am happy to hear about the uh, selling of uh, Sony Online Entertainment. I'm, I, I love DC Online, and I think it'd be a great addition to play on the Xbox, especially where it's free to play and free to download. I mean, it's, it's a fun game. I used to play it from the get-go, even when it was back and paid, and I played it a lot on my PlayStation 4 when it was uh, free to play, and so a lot of people still play it, so I think it will be a great addition to the Microsoft Xbox, especially H1Z1. Uh, though, it is there is a lot of keyboard commands. I don't know how they will combine everything and fit it into a console if they decide to go that way, but then again, it, it is on the Sony PlayStation 4, so I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard to bring over to the Xbox One. But going forward, any games that these developers, this, uh, this, these developers make, which were all under Sony's moniker, can now be brought over to any system that they want. So this is another little nail in the coffin for Sony. I think and they're 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 going down that slope, and every time we hear some, something about them, something's being dropped, something's being sold, something's being restructured. We saw what's happening with Sega, and we're slowly seeing it now with Sony. So what do you guys think? Uh, do you think it's a great idea that they've sold off their Sony Online Entertainment line and now all of these games can be, uh, and new games can be brought over to any console that these developers see fit? Or do you think they should have hung on and, and played it out with their online entertainment uh, venture? Like, follow, subscribe. This is Mike from Gamers, and if you're playing hard, play safe.